Turn it up. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be explaining a project that I've been saying has been coming to the channel. Uh, if I've been in the garage, you've seen it back in the corner covered in dust. It still is. I, I need to wash it. Um, I'm looking at it and it looks sad. <laughs> but it is my... And my garage is a mess. What I'm talking about is the car behind me. It is my 1986 Toyota Corolla. It's an SR5 five-speed factory car. Uh, hatchback, obviously. Well, I've had the car for ever um 10 or 12 years well it's not forever but you know whatever uh had the car for a long time now it had a what was it a 1.6 liter single cam four cylinder carbureted motor and i i mean i had fun with it it was ungodly slow but it was fun I put some lowering springs and sus suspension little parts on it and it handled like a little go-kart. It was just fun to drive. So, fast forward, I put that Lexus V8 sitting behind me into it. Uh, got it to the point where I welded mounts together, trans mounts, made it awesome, sat in the car, perfect. Went to go crank it and the starter died. Well. Problem with that is the starter is down inside the engine. And the way I had it sitting in the car, it wasn't going to work. <laughs> I, I had to pull the engine back out to do the starter. And the car just kind of sat in the back burner for a long time. And then I had to move. And then where I moved, I didn't have a garage, which is why I built this whole garage was for this stupid little red car. It's not stupid, but yeah, I built a garage, just one car. Well, I decided after all that, because piecing that together, it is, let me show you the engine. It's a, I don't know if I want to show you too close, but I did put a Supra W58 five speed onto it. Sorry about the noise. And uh, I was going to put that back in the car and be done with it. Well, oh, you guys already saw. <laughs> I did a thing and I bought one of these. This behind me in my truck. My truck is still in the garage with it because I don't have a chain to lift it. <laughs> so I gotta go in the morning and pick up a chain from a somewhere to actually hook up to the, the engine and lift it out of my truck. So the truck's gotta sit in the garage tonight, which is fine. Uh, this is a 3S GE Beams engine with dual VVTi. It's a great little, whoop, it's a great little motor. It's a two liter four cylinder and it has a six speed manual transmission already connected to it. So I don't have to modify anything, which is awesome. Came with the computer for it is inside this box. So it has a whole wire harness, everything's included with it. I'm so excited. And what's great, a reason, hello, a reason I did this is the big V8, you had to basically custom make half the stuff to get it to fit. And it was just a pain. <laughs> and it barely, it really didn't fit in the car, but it did. I made it fit a little bit. So this, on the other hand, this thing has mounting kits you can buy look at the pretty shiny pieces we like shiny bits and these bits these are the motor mounts so that will bolt on to either side of the engine and it'll bolt it directly into the Corolla which is awesome and this part that is the transmission mount so that will bolt on back there onto that mount which i've got a new one coming so that'll bolt onto there and it'll bolt directly to the car so this thing should sit basically uh, like it's factory and i got those parts which is not a sponsor would love for them to be a sponsor that'd be great so i got my mounts from them 
great guys. Check out their website if you're looking for mounts for these. I paid 180 and change, plus, and then plus shipping for the mounts and the trans mount. And it came with uh, some nice hardware and everything. So it's basically ready to go. So all I gotta do now is get the stupid thing out of the truck, which will happen tomorrow. So, yeah. So that's gonna be most of the video, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the car. It's uh, really sad. Uh, this car will never be perfect. The front end, this, I've done a lot of research on this thing, you know, kind of investigating it. I think this car's been in like three major accidents. The front end is a little twisted up. Uh, yeah, it's never gonna be a perfect car, but it'll be a fun car. And that's what I want it to be. I want to be able to jump in this thing and just rip through the mountains and just laugh the whole time without worrying about scratching the car. It doesn't have nice paint as you can, uh, as you can probably tell, it's actually not in that bad a shape. It does, it does clean up, but I'm not going to like polish it out or nothing like that. So, and I'll show you the inside. The inside, the inside's a little stripped right now with some dirty old seats. The, the car has been sitting for no joke, like almost 10 years. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah. It's got no dashboard right now because the dashboard's on the roof and it has no cracks in it. The dashboard's in good shape. I took it out because I put a painless wire harness into the car. So I'm wiring all that in so I can start wiring in. I've got a full set of Defi, Defi gauges and that engine. So that engine will hopefully go in this car in the next few days and good times will start. <laughs> now, if you are watching this and you do know that you need to lower your subframe on these cars, to put this engine into this car, you do need to lower the subframe, which I made, they're not pretty looking, which nothing on this car is pretty looking. Uh, so I made some subframe spacers to lower everything down. And that's it. Flip the camera around. Hello. So that's going to be it. Um, hopefully engines going in, be wiring it up soon. I'm going to basically try and do a video on all kinds of stuff. So I'm putting this video out tonight or it'll go out tomorrow. And hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be making another video of actually unloading the engine out of the truck and start prepping everything I need to do to drop it in there and then just keep on making more videos of the journey of putting this poor poor thing back together and then hopefully we'll be making some cool videos of smoking the back tires and making a lot of noise with it and go up in the mountains so hopefully you stick around if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button stick around and thank you for watching